I don't think any of us can understand the loss that you go through losing a child. Um, I, I think the greatest gift that they were given is, is what they've done with their grief and, and turned it around for this community and, and the gift that they've given to this community. It's been, what, 11 years now? 11 years, half a million dollars. What, what has it meant for you to experience this loss and then to see what, what has been created out of it? I love how much it helps people. After Joe died, you could feel the love from all the family and friends and the community. And this is a day that comes back where you can feel the love again. When he was younger, um, we used to get up early in the morning and uh, go fishing. And we'd go to this uh, little store over there by Brown's Lake. And I'd get uh, chocolate donuts for him, and chocolate milk, and I'd get a coffee. And we'd get in the boat and we'd drift, uh, catching bass. Uh, we enjoyed doing that. After Joe passed away, um, we wanted to and he carry on his legacy and his name because he was as young as he was. And he was a good person, a really good person. And he loved golf. And uh, we felt this was the best way uh, to celebrate Joey, is to have a golf outing where we could raise funds to help kids, uh, both locally and children's hospital. We decided to put a majority of our funds into research and then uh, large percentage, about 70, 30, 30 goes into local scholarships. It, it was uh, a, a way to keep uh, Joey's name alive and, and it was therapy for us. I would say they're both w the type of people that um, want to do whatever they can to help you or anybody that they know of that's having trouble. Once a year to be able to do this and, and just to be able to bring Joey back and and he's not back but he he is that day yeah. and um, you know anybody that's been there for the golf outing always knows yeah. that uh, um, you know we, we talked to Joey a little bit that day for them to take a tragedy like that and turn it into something positive and to bring all their family and, and friends together never crossed my mind not to be part of it to do whatever they needed me to do Thank you so much. I wish I never had to be in this club. I don't want anyone else to join us. And if it wasn't for the community, we wouldn't be able to have raised a half a million dollars if people didn't come, if people didn't give, if people didn't spend. So it all depends on you. So thank you. Well, it was very humbling, to say the least. Um, this, this gift that we're being given um, really belongs to not just us, but to all the people that have helped us through the years at our board. And all the volunteers have helped us. We, we just basically had an idea. It was those people coming together that made that idea work. That's what we hope will continue to happen. Um, we hope that more people support it. Um, that would be a little selfish on my part because then I can hit the million dollar mark in five years rather than another 11, <laughs> you know. But uh, we would like very much to, um, to thank everybody from the bottom of our hearts, uh, from our whole family. Your thoughtfulness is overwhelming.